Hey, it's Marina, the Trader Chick, and I want to talk to you about preparing for your trading. You cannot just open your charts and start shooting bullets, right? You have to prepare. And something here I'm going to talk about, it is not what you think it is. And this is going to completely change your entire trading game. How I prepare for my trading day, and I guarantee you, it's not what you think. So check it out. Okay, you guys, preparation. Not what you expect. So there is there was this meme one time of Michael Phelps preparing for his um, his race, right? Which he ended up winning a gold medal for. And people were laughing at it and making fun of it because that's what he was sitting there. Basically what he was doing, he was visualizing. You could visualize with your eyes open or not. He was visualizing whatever it took for him to get to where he got. And we're not talking about the years of training, obviously, but his preparation before the actual races is really was something that was different than many others, right? And even though people were making fun of it, I call those ignorant people because that's the reason why we know Michael Phelps versus why we don't know about the people who are making fun of him, right? It's the preparation that goes before you start your race, your trading day, whatever. This is what makes you a successful person is those preparation rituals. It is not getting in front of your charts and just going at all, because if you're not prepared, you're not going to get there. So let's talk about those preparations, right? So when you're preparing for the marathon, there is a preparation for it, right? You could definitely spend months or whatever amount of time you are going to be preparing for your marathon in training. However, when you get to the marathon, you you can't just jump in, right? And I know that quite a few people just start running or start whatever. And what happens? They don't prepare properly for the actual race of that day. They don't do their warm up. They don't do their stretching. And within like maybe five miles, 10 miles, because you know, a marathon is 26 miles, they have a ripped hamstring. They have a quadricep that hurts. They're cramping up. All that training that they've done, all that work for no reason, because they didn't do the preparation. They didn't do their warm up. They didn't do the stretches. They didn't do what was necessary for them to stay in the game and all their prep out the window, right? So this is something that you need to understand. First and foremost, and I have a video specifically on this really, really talking about clearing your mind and a mental strength. So make sure that you check it out. You have to clear your mind, guys. You cannot be bringing in your garbage that you've just had a fight with somebody or if you've had a tragedy, you cannot be bringing that to the table. You cannot bring that to the charts because you will be spit out and thrown out within minutes because you are not there. Your mind is not clear. You are not in the moment. So yes, you need to prepare your mind. You cannot have all this buzzing going around. You need to be clear. Your mind needs to be ready for the day. Breathing exercises or meditation, if you think about it, it's pretty much the same thing, right? And yes, it is the most important thing. And if you talk to any pro traders, they will all unanimously in unison sing meditation, yoga. Yoga and meditation are very similar, right? But let's say you only have five minutes to meditate. That alone will help with the clearing of the mind. And if you're sitting here thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do for meditation. It's literally breathing. It's literally counting your breaths. Put on a timer for five minutes and just count your breaths. One, maybe one when you're in, two when you're blowing out, or just one for the whole, I guess, the repetition of the breath. And that's it. And when your mind starts to wander, and it will because we're humans, it's okay. Just bring it back to the breath. And pretty much that's meditation in a nutshell. So just de de dedicate three to five minutes. It's not a lot of time, but it will completely, completely change your game. I guarantee that. Okay. Sit in a quiet space and just give yourself those few minutes of breathing and only focusing on the breath. Comfortability. 
How many people actually talk about comfortability? Okay, who here has a comfortable setup, a comfortable table where you could sit and you're comfortable, you're not weird, your posture isn't off, your butt isn't numb. This is so important and no one talks about this, but your workspace is everything. How can you be a good trader if your workspace sucks? If there's a lot of commo com uh, commotion going on, you need to be separate. You need to close that door. If you want to, I actually have some students that go in their car and trade. No joke, because that's where their quiet space is. And they're comfortable, they lean back, they move the car seat, they have their setup there, but they've arranged it. And it's okay, there is no designated workspace, right? But you need it. You need that comfortability. You have to do it. Otherwise, forget it. News. You need to check the news that are happening in the moment. And I'm not talking about CNBC or Marketplace with all the different commotion. The news that is pertinent, pertinent to your specific trading, what you are trading. You need to be on that particular thing. Otherwise, you're not, you're going to miss out on a big news event that's happening and it's going to totally make your market go erratic and you're not going to know why. It takes one second to check it, but you also know, okay, at this hour, there's going to be some serious news discussion. I should probably sit out because I don't know what the market is going to do. And that's part of the preparation. You have to be on top of it. And now the important thing, time to work the charts. Oh my God, how many people sit in front of those charts and start shooting? No, you need to open your charts. You need to give yourself five to eight minutes of watching the charts. I don't care if there's two or three great trades in that moment that happen. Guess what? There are many fantastic other trades. I actually call it FOMO because people have the fear of missing a trade and I have a video on it that you need to check out. So make sure you check that video out because fear of missing a trade is a real thing. And when you open those charts, you have to get rid of that fear because it doesn't exist because there are so many other trades coming and just let your mind get into the chart. Otherwise you will start losing and you do not want to start your day on a losing note. And I've been there, you've been there. So let's avoid that. Okay. Give yourself some time. I actually want to know how much time do you guys give yourself when you sit in front of your charts before you actually start to engage and really take trades right below comment below let me know i want to know and when to trade you need to also understand there are good times when to trade right there is morning session afternoon session pre-market session you need to know that time and you need to prepare yourself for that because if you want to go in if you're usually a pre-market trader and you want to go in an afternoon trading session there are going to be different volatility so you need to prepare yourself and adjust your mind for that. Okay, so you need to understand when to trade. And that is very important. And your liquids and your solids, guys, you gotta have food. You are, it's just think of a car. A car does not run without gas. If you are not putting healthy stuff into your body, maybe, you know, a good smoothie, good fruit, healthy food, and instead you're giving yourself greasy stuff, carbohydrates, artificial crap, you're gonna be down, you're gonna be feeling crappy, you're gonna be out of energy before you even begin. So this is really important. Have that ready for you. So you can maybe munch on a grape, take an apple, drink a smoothie, have green tea, whatever works for you. But you need to have that set up. It is part of your preparation ritual. You need to be ready for it. Okay. It's really important and super important. And this is a bonus hack that you cannot miss. All right. You need to have your broker. You need to have your platform software phone numbers on hand right there. Because what if your electricity goes out? What if your internet goes out? What if anything happens and you're not in your chart and you're in a live trade, you hop on that call immediately and stop it. And they will usually stop it for those reasons. So you need to have that. And that is part of your preparation. It should be right here on your desk. Mine is right here in front of me and in my phone. Boom. I can immediately call them instantly because it happens. It shit happens, right? 
What do you guys do? What other stuff do you do that is part of your ritual? I want to know. Comment below. Let's all help one another. And I have many videos that give you all these different kinds of information, really focusing on these different cool secret hacks to simplify your trading and to be help you become a profitable, consistent trader. And Make sure you comment below and subscribe. Subscribe so you get all these different cool tips that I am offering you. And don't forget, you could always write me. You could always ask me questions. I'm Marina, the Trader Chick, and I'm here to simplify your day trading.